Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 1st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a quick update here around the world. We'll look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. We're going to start out looking at our sun as we have had a pretty active sun the last 48 hours. And I have been posting videos and showing imagery of the solar flares two large X flares, and as well minor BC range. CMEs thwarted our way. Geomagnetic storms overnight. Expected, expecting some tonight as well, across the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, of course. But both poles being rocked, and our world is a shaking. It is evident that with these solar events that the earthquakes increase, as has been documented here with daily events worldwide. Another quick look here at 304 angstroms. Two very active sunspots, earth facing, and as well, we've got another one cresting, large plasma filament getting ready to wrap around the southern hemisphere. You can see that right there. So active sun to say the least, and it's been documented here with daily events worldwide. Having a look at our magnetosphere. This is our pressure planes. Now, when we were looking at this yesterday, there was a lot of red in here. So that was a lot of pressure. And we did see the 6.3 earthquake, 7.0 earthquake, New Caledonia, Loyalty Islands, some pretty sizable earthquakes. A real-time solar wind, we're sitting at just on over 500 kilometers per second, 491 to be exact. Thank you, Tassie, for the, that little update in the comment section. Hello, BC, I see you saying hi in there. Thank you for joining the live stream. This is a daily do live. So anybody that is in the chat room right here, right now is in the daily do. We are in this together, folks. Much love. Let's have a look at our real time solar wind. Solar X-ray flux, X-ray flux remains in a C-class range. Geomagnetic activity is starting to drop off after being up way over KP5 yesterday. And yeah, if you want to look for the forecast uh, space weather prediction spiral, look in last night's video because it has changed since. Having a look here at where the Northern Lights will be coming down to tonight. Just hitting the border with the United States, a lot through Quebec, and then deepening here over Alaska and into Russia. So Northern Lights will be prevalent both tonight and probably tomorrow. Have a quick look at ISWA space prediction spiral, see what it is showing. <clears throat> so there's another CME shot out straight at Jupiter here. This is Jupiter, green dot. But nothing more thwarted our way. And we are going through a space weather event right now. Having a look around the world, the total precipital water, not everybody, I don't normally show this map in the daily do, but this is always going in the live stream. And the equatorial moisture is still getting even wider, especially in the Pacific. There's a lot more cloud cover and a lot more moisture falling in our oceans right now. And I think the Tonga eruption back last year has a lot to do with it. Actually, it wasn't even last year, it was January. 
<clears throat> Quick look here at earthquakes for the past 24 hours around the world. Nothing larger than a 5.5. South Sandwich Islands. Minor activity coming back to the Dominican. Pretty deep earthquake here. Panama. Lots of activity across the Pacific Northwest, United States right now. Seeing a large swarm, Vancouver Island, and as well, uh, California, Seattle border, or uh, California, Oregon border. Alaska seeing this, the forecasted activity. Pretty deep earthquake here, Fiji region. Let's get to more specific here. USGS, see how deep that was. 545 kilometer depth, so a pretty deep earthquake uh, south of Fiji Islands, 4.4. Let's get a closer look here at the United States. Minor activity across California normally, all around the basin. Sizable 3.2 earthquake here, Willow Creek, California. But what I wanted to show you was the tremor map, tremor map for the Pacific Northwest. Oh. Now it's gone. So there were hundreds reported here earlier. There was like literally about four or five hours ago, I was looking at this site and there were hundreds over Vancouver Island and as well right on the border here, California, Oregon. But yeah, apparently it doesn't want to show me anymore. So that is a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Also give you a quick update here on weather. We'll give you here the latest satellite imagery and as well we'll update you on the most recent volcanoes getting updated today so pretty cool conditions have moved right from the north pole straight to parts of central united states there's still snow falling in northwestern parts of the u.s Watch for stormy conditions to come back this weekend and snow for eastern parts of Canada. Only one tropical cyclone to talk about here. Halima is still alive and spinning around. It looks like it's heading northward. This one could actually stir around the Indian Ocean there for a while. I've seen storms hang around for, well, 29 days was the longest recorded. Hurricane Nadine back in the day, raced around the Atlantic for 29 days. I believe it was her Cyclone Nadine or Hurricane Nadine. But around the world, snowy conditions, cold conditions, and storm conditions across Italy and central parts of Europe. South America dealing with the same thing. Have a look here at volcanoes. Dekono, Indonesia. Nevadas to Chilean, Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala. There's been a lot of landslides reported across North America, Indonesia, Malaysia, China. Pretty big landslide actually in northern BC. Apparently it produced a hundred meter tsunami. So that's about six volcanoes getting updated today. And I wanted to give a quick look here at Kilauea volcano. I've been keeping an eye on that because that's one of the most active lava lakes on the planet. And all it takes is one big spew for all this lava to fill up this massive crater summit, Kilauea. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Daily Events Worldwide. We are almost 50,000 followers. Please share this with your friends and family. We're going to have a big party when we hit 50K. 
This was our next goal. So this has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide giving you a quick live update. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.